Greetings, dear, precious, beautiful spirit soul that you are. Yes, I'm not talking about who you think you are or who you think anybody is, but we have to get to the heart of the matter, you see, always, to the real core, and that's, that's you, right there. My topic, uh, how spiritual miracles occur. How spiritual miracles occur. I always tell you, they're, they're all the time, every moment. I, I don't like to use time, but they're always, always happening. And what happens is most people don't notice. They're so busy thinking about where they're going, where they've been, who likes them, who doesn't like them. They're all going to die tomorrow. You're not going to be. You're going to this happen, that happened, that they're bad, they're bad, you're bad, bad. Okay, wait a minute. And they're not noticing all the miracles around them every moment. And I'll tell you how, how, how this part, how it works. Okay, as we're climbing, I've been walking, uh, you know, around the edge of the lake today. And, you know, it's all the snow. And it started a little bit, little bit melting, a tiny bit. But I'm really very careful because, you know, it's important to... Uh, prevent something happening that you can. And so many people don't even know how to fall. So they would fall on their hands. They're not ready to, to fall and, and like this. And because, so I was thinking, you know, I need, a, I need a walking stick. I need a stick today. And I'm looking and looking and looking. And, fall, and then there's this beautiful fallen tree, because I just love them all. They're great. Even they're so beautiful then too, even. And I'm going, you know, it's got to be. And here, is what I found, okay? Now, what's so cool about this is that I would never have picked this as a stick because the idea of stick is just straight. So, and right there was the stick and how perfect it is because it's got these like little claws on the bottom and it helps me see a stick that like I thought would go right through to the, to Wherever it is, there's a bunch of bushes under here, here in the snow. Yeah, so we want to make sure it's okay. And it's, it's kind of gnarly looking, and, it, and it's really cool. But look again how a tree is helping me. And it's not what I expected. It wasn't even what I was looking for because I had a preconceived notion that's what we do, of what it is, how it's going to work, this has got to happen, i got to do this before, bop, bop, bop. When that's how the mind operates, that's a machine that's calculating, figuring out, analyzing, doing all this stuff. And I learned this when I was, uh, I was going to metaphysical classes because that's where I could understand like the metaphysical teachings of, of Jesus and uh, open to other great teachers and to be, you know, to really, to study. And um, it, was, it was wonderful because it's where I was at the time. And learning not to outline. And what people tend to do because they don't know who they are, they try to solve their problems in the mind. Like, I could have passed this up because it's not a straight stick like a cane, because it's not a stick. Well, it's maybe a branch, or it's a big stick, but it was the perfect one. It's got even this little goodie off to this side, gives me a little, and if it started to slide more, it's got a little break. Who could have designed a better, better walking stick? Because it did everything that I needed, and I didn't even have to even think about everything that I needed, but I also had to go for something that didn't fit my pictures, didn't fit what I expected, didn't fit how I wanted it to be. And I'll tell you one of the things too, it took a while, but once you know your patterns, and you start watching your patterns, whether it's in relationships, it's how you do your work, it's who you let stop you, who you're giving your power. Stop telling there's got to be a law about this. Stop that. Own yourself. Own and take care of yourself because you can. That's who you are. And so I learned to see they want, they want to say, okay, um, 
I like to have a relationship, you know, and then they go, well, then how do you want them to be? Well, this, that, this, that, this, and that. But wouldn't you really want the one that was going to be maybe the most nourishing, enriching, and vice versa, that you could be, you know, empowering and enriching? You take a look, like, like would really be it. You could both be who you are, uh, and, and you could work together or play together, but you were always empowering and enriching each other because you had no envy, no jealousy, no put down, no afraid they're going to know more than you and it'll ruin your whole thing that you think you know everything and stuff like that. That's stupid. And what happens is we're blocking the spiritual miracles. And people think that a miracle only happens like this, this, or this, or this. It's when you get out of the way. You do your part. I was looking, and I also had to grab it and pull it up because I didn't know how long the branch was going to be. But that always happens for me. So it was there, and, and it was always there. It had been there for me and waiting for when I needed it because that's a great tree, you see. And then you don't have to worry about the future or lament the past hankering for what you think you don't have, lamenting over what you thought you lost, is just jerking you around. That's the story. Get out of your story, you can watch it, and even out of your body to this body, and you're not even out of it, and you don't need to do that. If you activate your spiritual body, this body will slough off, you see? Because it's not being supported because you've been healed from the mind virus. And that's the job. And when you do that, you say, the secret spiritual miracles, be open to the divine, do your part, and be grateful because it'll be right there. Wow. Very cool.